Hi guys, welcome back to another nail art video. So this set of nails has been on for about 3 to 4 weeks and yeah, it's time to remove them and get a new set. So I'm just gonna remove it as per normal and prep for my next nail art design. If you're anything like me, someone who loves nail art but I'm always too lazy to paint them on myself and also too cheap to go for a manicure, you would have come across these nail stickers. This is different from like the gel nail press-ons in that these stickers do not last as long as gel. There are gel press-ons that last as long as gel but yeah, so cheapo me would rather pay money for these. <laughs> Anyway, I've tried this on before and the thing is they don't really last. Usually by end of week 1, they'll start to peel off. And so I was just thinking to myself, is there a way to make them last as long as gel nails? Maybe just like painting a gel base coat and a gel top coat. And guess what? It actually worked. I did that before and it lasted as long as my normal gel nails. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I do it. First, you gotta prep your nails as you normally would with um, your normal gel nails and then apply a gel base coat. Apply it on all fingers as per normal and cure. Now this next step is a very important step. You have to wipe off the tacky layer that's formed after curing. Just wipe it off with normal um, cotton pads soaked in alcohol. If you do not wipe off the tacky layer, it will be impossible to stick on the nail stickers because it will just keep moving around and it will not like stay put. I cut the stickers into individual pieces so that it's easier for me to match the different sizes to my different nails. Then following whatever instructions the nail stickers you have, paste the nail sticker onto your nail. Mine just requires me to paste it on normally and use the file provided to file off the excess length. And I'm just going to file the edges to smoothen it out. Do the same for the rest of the nails. And now you can totally skip this part but I'm just going to be a little bit extra and stick some nail gems onto two of my fingers. So firstly, I'm just going to put a blob of gel to stick on the nail gems. After putting the gems into the position that I like, I'm going to cure them into place. I'm going to add some nail gems onto my fourth finger as well, doing the same as what I did for my thumb, adding some gel and then placing the nail gem and then curing it. After curing the nail gems into position, I'm going to apply a layer of gel on the entire nail so that it locks the gem into place and also provides a protective layer for the nail sticker. I'm going to apply the same gel on all of my fingers. And now as the last step, I'm just going to apply a layer of gel top coat on all of my fingers and cure. So this is how my nails look like in the end. I just have to repeat everything that I've done on my other hand. I really like how this turned out. The extra gel layer helps to give the design a little bit more shine. And the gel layer on top helps to protect the sticker which helps give the sticker a much longer wear. Instead of like one week, it can last up to about three weeks. The last time I did it, it lasted for about three weeks. And actually, it wasn't even peeling off. It was just because my nails were getting a bit long and I thought it was time to change my nail design. I tried doing this with a matte top coat but it kind of didn't work. I'm not sure it's because it's a matte top coat or it's because of the type of top coat I was using. The sticker ended up really wrinkly so I feel like this method will only work with a glossy top coat. But maybe changing the brand of the matte top coat might work. I just haven't gotten around to trying it yet. So anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope you like what you watch and I shall see you in my next video. Bye bye!